Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm hoping to have a very cool one for you guys today. You may recall, um, like a year ago when I was out in California at Glen Helen, I tried out and pioneered a, what I'm calling the shark fin action camera mount. I basically had a big pole that stuck off the back of my chest protector and I got some pretty sweet like MX versus ATV third person style follow cam footage. I obviously have not posted any more footage with that camera setup because I'm gonna be honest with you, it was sketchy. The pole was kind of flopping around back there. It wasn't very secure. At one point, it actually kind of fell apart and the camera was dangling dangerously close to my rear wheel, which I didn't know about. So it was a little bit sketchy. I didn't want to promote you guys doing that. And obviously I didn't want to put my own health at risk. So we kind of canned that one. It was like a one and done until recently. You guys know Insta360 has been like a big partner of the channel. I've done a couple videos for them every time they come out with a new camera. I'm fortunate enough to be part of the reveal. I get to test it out, put it through the paces, and see how it stands up to professional motocross. And I also get to test out some other little goodies, such as this cutie here. See, we got the Insta360 branding on there. This is what they call a backpack mount. It's like this big aluminum plate here with the ball joint on there. And then I actually picked up this carbon fiber pole off of Amazon, mounted it up to my Alpine Stars A1 chest protector. Um, this is an under protector, so it's a little bit like of a flimsy plastic because it's meant to go under your chest protector. So it's a little bit flimsy, but luckily the Insta360 backpack mount also comes with these fabric straps. That really helps keep things nice when I wrap that around my stomach. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, it feels super solid. I've been putting it on, running around the yard, riding my bicycle, hitting little jumps on it and stuff, and it feels super solid, way better than my previous setup. So I'm actually feeling pretty good about this. Plus the carbon fiber pole that I picked up off of Amazon is way sturdier than the other mount that I had. So I'm actually pretty optimistic about this. It should be pretty sick. But on top of upgrading the mount, we also got a camera upgrade because Insta360 just came out with their brand new X3 360 degree camera. You can see it's a little bit dirty. I've already been using it a little bit and it gets some seriously insane footage. This is the follow-up to the One X2, which I also have right here. So we can get a little look, compare these things side by side. They're almost the same size. The X3 on the left here is a little bit thicker. That's because the battery is a little bit bigger, which is super nice when you're doing long motos. You wanna get good life out of the battery. And then the next big thing you'll notice is this huge screen on the back compared to on the One X2 that just has this little screen here. It makes it way easier for going through the menus and making your selections. And actually it's a super nice screen. I would say like almost on par with the iPhone screen. So it reacts really well, it's super nice. There's some more features I'll go over in another video like dedicated to this thing, showing you guys how it operates and all the new features. But I'm just really excited to test out the crazy shark fin mount and see how it goes. So without further ado, let's get the bikes ready, head out to Super Coupe MX and see how the shark fin mount does. and then. I'll also get a little bit of chest cam with the X3 so you guys can kind of see how that looks like and see if maybe you want to pick up this camera. It's pretty epic, but I will let the footage speak for itself. So let's get to Super Coop. About to get squirrely. Mm -hmm. 